And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're talking about Chronicles of Crime Noir. Now this is the first expansion for Chronicles of Crime. If you remember, Chronicles of Crime is a uh, deduction cooperative game where you're going and you're trying to figure out who done it. This takes it back into the late 1940s in L.A. I'm really excited. I love the game already. This expansion sounds good. Let's take a look. So here are the components for the game. There's going to be a bunch more locations here. So you can see, you know, they have the noir type feel. I really like how they look. And these locations will be used for various things. And then a bunch of characters. Same thing. Uh, just various different uh, characters that you would see from this time period. Okay, so what really makes the game interesting here, and by the way, there's more clues and things too, uh, is that you are replacing the criminologist and the psychologist, etc., from the original game with these four new different activities that you can do. So you just give these cards to the players, you split them up like normal, and these are action cards, and you can use these cards. So this one here is intimidation. When you interrogate someone, you can kind of, you know, intimidate them. Maybe slap them around, maybe just kind of get in their face, whatever it is. The problem is this could get bad, you know, they, they can beat you up maybe, or all kinds of negative things could happen to you if you try to intimidate the wrong person. You can also break in. So you can try to break into a location, break into somebody's room, which it can, can get you caught and or in trouble. You can shadow somebody or do a stakeout, and this can give you some really good information on somebody. You can stake out a person or a location, you know, and I say, I'm going to stake them out. The problem is, is that takes a lot of time to do that. And then finally, corruption and bribery. You actually will now have a money total that you're going to have from, uh, that, that's going to be shown on the app. And you can use that money to try to bribe people. Of course, bribery can get you into trouble, but it can also get you through different tricky situations. And in fact, there are ways to make money over the course of the game also. So the app now, you can go in and you can basically click on Noir, and it will show you the different ones, the Thelma Dot Affair, Life Lost, Secure to Die For, Hell's Hawk. You click these and you, and you play them. And it's gonna basically, very similar, have the same thing. You're in Sam Spader's office, and you'll notice here at the top, it shows you how much money you have. So at this point, you have zero money, but if you get more money or lose money over the course of the game, this will keep track of it. All the stuff in here is very small. There's not a ton of components, really. And so you'll easily be able to put everything in the main box. Yep, sometimes a game gets the perfect 10 out of 10, and this expansion is one of those. I love it. I already liked Chronicles of Crime. Chronicles of Crime is one of my favorite games, easily moving up to become just, in, just one of my favorite games of all time. I think it's fantastic. I think it's thematic. I love the use of the VR codes and how it works. Noir makes it even more interesting to me. I love the setting, the hard-boiled detective going around and talking to people, and the rules even mention you know, like, hey, you know, some of the way that people treat each other and stuff is not necessarily the best way to do it, but it's kind of a how this time period was. And, and they try to stay true to the time period. And I just, I love the new actions. I love the fact that you'll, you'll meet a police officer and you'll go, can I bribe this guy? I don't know. And it, it, it feels just a little bit more dynamic. You know, oh, this person's, I want to search their house, but... I want to wait till they leave and then I'll break it and search it. And there's just this feeling of sometimes of, of fear of what could happen to you. You're, you're a detective. And I think it's neat because it does, this doesn't take away from how you felt in the first one where you're getting together. The first one felt very similar to like an episode of NCIS or Law and Order. This one feels like one of those old black and white hardball detective movies. 
and both work and they both use the same system. There's just difference. And I think I like Noir a little bit better, but I love that I have both. This is fantastic. I have such a great time playing through these. They're still hard, they're still tough, they're still red herrings, but I love trying to figure out just who done it and why they did it. Ah, oh, this, is, this is so good. I'm looking forward to each of the expansions for Chronicles of Crime, but if they're anything like this first one, it is amazing. I love how everything fits in the original box. In fact, they have spaces in here specifically marked with the uh, icons for this expansion to put them in. So definitely, if you like Chronicles of Crime, I cannot fathom that you will not like this. I love this. I love this even more. Wonderful, terrific. Check it out. That's Chronicles of Crime Noir. Dice Tower and Judgment, excellent!